The only thing geeks love more than weird and awesome creatures is arguing about which creature is the most weird and the most awesome. Pop quiz, hotshot. Robots or ninjas? Wrong. Pirates or wizards? Seriously? Zombies or aliens? I'm not saying it's aliens, but it's aliens. Today on Tabletop, Rich Summer, Kara Santa Maria, Jen Timms, and I are playing a crazy fun card game that lets us combine these science fiction and fantasy creatures into teams for an epic battle that will settle once and for all which creatures are the most weird and the most awesome. Can't we all just get along? No. This is Smash Up. Smash Up is a deck building game designed by Paul Peterson about a science fiction movie mashup where different factions of creatures combine into teams and battle out for supremacy. Each deck represents a different faction, like pirates, aliens, zombies, and dinosaurs. To build your team, you just grab two decks and put them together. For example, my zombie dinosaurs are now ready to kick your ass. Once your team is built, you will play minions on these bases to make them break and score you points. Each base has a break point total, 16 for the tar pits, 20 for the mothership. When that break point total is tied or exceeded, the base breaks, and the player with the most minion power on that base scores this many points, the second most player scores this many points, and so on. On your turn, you can play a minion to help break a base, or you can play an action to help yourself. At the end of your turn, you will always draw two cards, no matter what. First player to 15 victory points wins. Who will that be? Let's find out. We are going to play Smash Up. My name's Kara Santa Maria, and I am the host and producer of Talk Nerdy to Me, which is a video series on Huffington Post Science. My name is Jen Timms. Um, I am a video game producer. I work with United Front Games up in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. My name is Rich Summer. I'm an actor. I'm currently on a show called Mad Men. All right, this is Smash Up. I am Robot Wizards. I am Robotic Wizards. Kara, who are you? I am Dinosaur Tricksters. <laughs> Trixie Dinosaurs. Yep, yep, yep. All right, okay. Rich, who are you? I have the Zombie Ninjas. That sounds... Awesome. That, that sounds <laughs> kind of the perfect. Yeah, well, it sounds like something that doesn't smell good. <laughs> no, oh, no, 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 no. Yeah. And Jen, who are you? Uh, I am Pirates and Aliens. Uh, so are you, are you Pirates from another planet? Yes, or, okay. swashbuckling, transporting oh, kind great. of pirates, yes. I love that. The player who got up earliest today gets to go first in Smash Up. I got up at 6.45 this morning, not of my own volition, but because my dog jumped up in the bed and kicked me full in the face. <laughs> so uh, did anyone else get up earlier than that? No. I got up at like 12.15. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'll go first. Uh, I'm going to begin by playing a minion. I'm going to play a zap bot on the ninja dojo for two points. And I get to play another minion of two points or less, so I will play the enchantress also on the ninja dojo. Gives me four points on the ninja dojo. And I get to draw a card. So much you get to do. Yeah, it doesn't end, now, does it? <laughs> well, that's, I'm a wizard and that's what wizards do. One of the great things wizards can do is to start stacking actions. It's like wishing for wishes. I just keep cycling through my deck till I fill my hand with badass guys. And it makes it much more likely that I am going to end up in front of the wall of victory. I shouldn't have said that. Now, it, it's not, I've, I've ruined it. I've jinxed it. 
I'm actually not going to play an action this turn. I'm going to draw two cards. And uh, Rich, would you mind moving our little? Uh, oh yes, I'd be up happy to. There? For those of you watching at home who may play uh, Smash Up, uh, we're actually using special cards for this particular episode of Tabletop. And my turn is done. It is your turn. It's my turn, and Ms. I think Santa what Maria. I'm going to do is I'm going to F with Will a little bit. Oh, that's a good idea. Um, just, I'm a you person know, you want to have as an enemy from the first turn of the game. Because it's fun, because it's fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that I picked the right factions for this because I have a science background and I didn't want to play with any magic. So I was dinosaurs and tricksters. I used power and wit. Okay, in a fight between dinosaurs and wizards, wizards always win because they're magic and dinosaurs aren't even real. I'm going to play on the first base. I'm going yeah. to play Pay the Piper, which is an action. So Super. Oh, wow. Since you're already invested, yeah, I thought thanks. I'd go ahead and Appreciate go there. that. And then I'm going to also play a minion there. I think I'm going to go with my brownie, which is ongoing. After another player plays a card that affects this minion, that player discards two random cards. Oh, nightmare. So. Oh. Wow. So, <laughs> so you're protecting so let's and all go ahead and just squash and the, me. And the brownie, of course, is worth four points. Yeah, so. Which is great Doing all right. there. Okay, so that's right. this up to eight? Yeah, eight of 18. So nice. 10 points left to go nice. there. Drawing, and now um, my turn's over. I have right. no interest in going to the ninja dojo at this point. <laughs> which is odd, because Feels it like seems like it would be your be. house. <laughs> but uh, nope. Although, although, uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh oh, here we go. Hold on a second. I don't like having you to my left. <laughs> Maybe we will infiltrate our ninja dojo, no. which uh, is play on a base, uh, destroy an action that's been played here, Yep. Uh, and then I can ignore the base's ability until the start of my next turn. I am going to destroy Thanks this pay the piper. No, yeah. Pipers yeah. Will be, so no pipers will be paid nope. today. Well, the zombies uh, are, are pretty active. They're out there a lot. They keep regenerating, but the ninjas are sneaky. So they come in at uh, the times when everybody else wants them to be there the least. I'll bring out my uh, zombie lord who doesn't, I don't get to fully use his great power, which would allow me to play a, an extra minion from my discard, but uh, he's a five, so I'm gonna Ooh. lock it down there. So that brings us to Eight. No, not 18. Oh, God. I'm the wrong person to be doing this. Wrong person to be doing this. It brings us closer to 13. Yeah. I'm not what one would call good at math. Time All right, Jen, you're completed. Okay. Uh, I think that I'm going to take my little, my little buccaneer dude and I'm going to jump over here. Hmm. I'm not interested in anything you guys are doing right. over there. Okay. A uh, cool thing about my cards is a lot of them get to stay either on the board. Uh, my pirates get to stay going from base to base, so I get to keep them in play. Um, and my aliens often get to come back into my hand, so I don't have to discard them, which is great. I'm not going to play an action this All turn. Right. I'm going to take my cards, and I'm going to let you have your turn. All right. I will play the Hoverbot on the mothership. The Hoverbot's magic ability is that I get to reveal the top card of my deck, and if it is a minion, I get to play it. Oh, it's a minion! How about that? It's a Zap Bot, which is also going to go here. You may play an extra minion of power two or less. Three. You just get to chain and, chain and chain. Yep, I do. I get to keep doing that. Will's deck has the most sort of uh, planning that seems to happen. Although my deck, my deck actually has a lot of room for planning with getting as much into the discard pile as you can to bring it back in later. I'm gonna play my uh, Microbot Guard. So five, that's gonna push that up to nine. I draw two cards, my turn is done. I think it's at 10, isn't it? Am I wrong? Three, three, four. So, uh, six, seven, 10. <laughs> now which one of us is bad at yeah. math, Rich Summer? Redeemed everything. <laughs> yep. uh, by the way, kids, you are gonna use math when you get out of school. Yeah, you really are. <laughs> it's true. You really yeah. are. Yes. Yep. <laughs> I have... I feel obligated to tell you that if you make that base blow up with five points, then um, Rich is going to get three points. Uh-huh. Um, oh, and, and I'll only get, get two. two. Okay, I think what I'm going to do then is I'm going to play the Armor Stego, which is only three points, yeah. but it has plus two power during other people's turns. Ooh. Oh, that's great. Oh. Interesting. <laughs> I played the Armored Stego so that I didn't have to score the base on my turn. Rich would score the base, but I would get the points. Interesting. That's going to happen. Mm -hmm. do I, I am going to... Uh, oh, oh I'm, I'm, I'm so nervous. <laughs> 
when I get that Shinobi in my hand, it is all about watching for the opportunity to play it. If the moment presents itself, I am going to leap out of the cover of darkness and take a piece of whatever pie is being cut up at that moment. I'm going to put this Tenacious Z here. Yes, I see um, what you're doing. Yes. Well, I don't. What yeah. are you doing? I'm, tenacious I'm, Z is awesome because it comes out of the graveyard as a, basically a free action on anything. Smart. That's So smart. he's putting it there because the base is going to blow up and then he's going to have a Tenacious Z in his, in his graveyard. Yeah, great, good move. Great. Uh, go ahead and draw two cards. And now we're going to score this base. Mm -hmm. All right. Kara, you have the most on the base, so you're gonna get two points. Congratulations. Great. Thank you. All right, Rich, you have the second most on the base, so you're gonna get three points. Thank Which you. is weird, Congratulations. but okay. That's, That's, <laughs> That's and, how ninjas uh, roll. And, and all that work that I did there is rewarded with two lousy points, so that's okay. good as well. And uh, now this base is gonna go away. And what is but the action But before we do that, you get to decide uh -huh. to uh, destroy one of the minions on the base. I'm gonna have to destroy the buccaneer because it's mm. a don't feel too bad. It's just gonna, but don't feel don't feel bad. It Thank just you. moves to a different base. Oh, does he wait? Yeah, he if moves. A, a buccaneer, if a buccaneer oh, would be destroyed, there. move it to another base <laughs> instead. So you do that, this and is then what here's happens when you have bad eyes. Bad and here's our new our new base is the tar pits. All right. The tar pits. It's worth the, a the good tar pit score I'm on gonna, sixteen. So I'm just gonna move him straight over here. Great, good move. Okay, I'm up. I am just going to. Play my saucy wench. Oh. <laughs> my saucy wench. Oh she my uh, oh my <laughs> she uh, destroys a minion of power two or less on this base. Oh. So if I want to bring her over here, yep. means I can start attacking. Yep, you can. You. He's worth more. Uh huh. Yeah, I think that'll do. I think that'll do. Okay. All right, so, so you take him back. Nice. Um, graveyard. Again, I'm not going to play any action. Okay. My turn is over. All right, my turn. I will start with an action. I am going to play the tech center. I choose a base and I draw one card for each of my minions there. So I'm going to draw two cards at the top of my turn that for like that base. Nice. The next thing I'm going to do uh -huh. is play my Chrono Mage. So I'm going to bring her down here. Okay. And now my extra action oh is to play an action that lets me play two extra actions. Oh, God. So I still have two actions coming to me. This is Will on his turn. So action card. I'm going to play an action. I'm going to... Oh, that means I can play another action. So first I'm going to play this card. And then... Oh, that lets me play this card. And then hang on. Oh, that lets me play another card. So my next um, action will be to reveal the, top, <laughs> reveal the top five cards of my deck and oh, then God. place any numbers into my hand. Minions, okay, so if... I've got 40 more to go, you guys, so just take your time. Well, maybe I'll go ahead and do that. Sure, I'm going to do that. <laughs> I'm going to draw cards. No, I'm not going to do that. Oh, oh my God. God. My turn is done. Oh. <laughs> okay, so I want to play on Tortuga. I'm uh, assassinate you the uh, the chrono mage. Yes. What? You are, you are a terrible person. Bam, bam, bam. And then okay. that signals that my turn is over, and I'll draw All my right. two cards. All right. Well, uh, I'm gonna play my first mate minion. But now my action, I got a little dingy from my little pirate. <laughs> <laughs> Your cards are and, so uh, dirty. <laughs> <laughs> These two got wind of the fact that the saucy wench was over on the mothership. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so they got their dinghy out. <laughs> and they're going, pew, because the dinghy lets me move two of them. So oh, they're coming cool. over here to party with the saucy wench. I don't think Jen means for her pirates to be as dirty as they've ended up being. A lot of it just has to do with the way she talks. So I'm loving pulling my s out, uh, putting them in the dinghy with the saucy wench, the first mate, the buccaneer. It's a party. <laughs> All right, um, so um, you just um, pulled six over here, right? Uh, yeah, I did. Right? So that I did. puts us at 17. 17. You have so many points there. And Rich, you, you have did such to do a something. terrible thing to me. <laughs> oh, <laughs> he's so defeated. <laughs> Sarah, his turn's going to go in for another half hour. That's right, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's we right. This is when I get to take that's a true. drink yeah. of my water. Yeah. Yeah. Go make your drink. I think when I think about this game of Smash Up, I'm gonna I'm gonna think about Will doing what are clearly like beautiful mind uh, level calculations in his head as he tries to figure out how best to string all of his cards together. 
Okay, so that's, that makes that. Any vacations recently? I went to Hawaii. Ooh. But I did do some stand-up paddle boarding, and we had turtles. Isn't that fun? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Anne loves Amazing. that. Amazing. Oh yeah, paddle boarding is the best. Will, hurry up and finish your turn. Go over there. Okay, I got it. All right. <laughs> minion play. Microbot fixer. If this is the first minion you played this turn, you may play an extra minion. Ongoing, each of your microbots gains an additional plus one power. Microbot alpha. Ongoing. Plus one power for each of your other microbots. Oh. All of your minions are considered microbots. <laughs> oh, good God. Wow. Now, so, so that's gonna, that's, that's gonna score this base. So I'm gonna get four. The saucy wench gets two. Mm -hmm. Okay, and uh, zombies, you only get one. Uh, and what's the and now my special thing is yeah, awesome. The, the winner may return one of his or her minions of power, three or less, from here to his or her hand. Oh, that's cool. So let's you have see too many cards now. already. Uh, in I have exactly the right number of cards. I'm gonna put all of my minions are considered microbots back into my hand. Now our new base is the Gray Opal. It's a pirate ship, which should make yeah. one of us happy. All right. Okay. I think I'm gonna play War Raptor. Ooh. Here. Yeah. They hunt and pay. They, they do. They do. They do. They Did you know that in real raptor. life, War Raptor Vision was based off of lasers? <laughs> of course. <laughs> Well, there's a picture right there. Yeah, you in can real see life. it right there. In this real is completely scientifically accurate. Yeah, I should yeah. know. I'm a huge dinosaur nerd. That's why I fought for the dinosaur faction. I even have this tattoo of Archaeopteryx lithographica. It's the Berlin specimen. And it's a transitional fossil, which is kind of half dinosaur, half bird. And I fought. I fought for this faction. It's yeah. true. I'm Got gonna... ugly downstairs. <laughs> <laughs> game, I'm keeping it pretty low key. I've had a few little uh, lighthearted plays, but I'm holding some of my bigger cards back, so I'm hoping that uh, I get a chance to play something a bit more exciting this time. Jen, I'm watching you. I don't completely trust you. Okay, I, this is a little overkill, but that's kind of what is I do because I'm a Chicago? dinosaur. <laughs> I'm gonna play King Rex because he's kind of a bad Good God! <laughs> so, King Rex is yeah, ready so to party. Oh wow, that's 18, 18. Right? 18. I think I'm gonna play Rampage, which is a bit overkill, but it's yeah. working for What's me. What's it do? Who doesn't uh -huh. want to so it reduces the, pr the break point by the power of one of my minions. So oh, wow. it brings it all the way so down to 13. It, uh, yeah. But all right. either way, okay. I'm gonna score this base. Um, Can I ask a question? Yes. Just out of curiosity, uh -oh. let's say hypothetically, Oh god, did I do something? Hi, no, 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 you're okay. doing it. You're the best. You're, you, your fate has been sealed. That was um, the most, like, I've, that was the, the most Mad Men thing I've what? seen you do. Since you've been here all day, like, I was, I was like, are we going for a two martini lunch? Like, let's do this. That was the most awesome. Mad Men oh, thing I've ever, that's number two! <laughs> <laughs> number two! That was great! That was amazing! Oh, I feel man. like I'm in the show now! <laughs> Oh, very warm right now. Yes, Hypothetically, yeah. if two people were to tie, so first place is pretty well set, second mm -hmm. place looks set. Yeah. Let's say, I don't know. Like Shinobi might pop around? Well, is that I'm what you're wondering saying, about? Let's say that, uh, that I was there and I were to tie for third place. What would yeah. that mean? Would, I, would we each get two? Yes. You'd, yeah, you'd each yeah. get two. Okay. Yeah, get two. Shinobi! <laughs> <laughs> so this base, this base scores, so let's go. Yeah, I'm gonna Ouch. put um, my. Let's pop him over here. All right. Just scouting it out. Your for scout us. is adorable. Just, just, uh, and take two cards, and my turn is over. I am going to play the hoverbot on goes. the central brain. Okay. All right. Uh, I reveal the top card of my deck. If it's a minion, I can play it. Otherwise, I put it back in. Oh, it's a minion! Oh, 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 I can play literally any card in my hand and I will win the game. Okay, so right now this is 6, 10, 14. That's correct. Which means that it needs 5 to score. 5 to score, yeah. Oh yeah, you've got the 
plus one. Great. Well, you well, really, on it so with, you just need a four to score. But then he'll win. Truth. <laughs> Look, he has enough points that it takes him even getting second place at that base to win the game. Um, I just am trying to keep him from tilting it entirely in his favor. In fact, I'm just trying to kick him off the base. If I can get him off the base, then I have a shot. Oh, this is really tough. Okay. I see you destroy his nuke box. I see you let him win. <laughs> it's, if I play, I just want to make sure my math is good. If I play something that's a that's three here, mm -hmm. this will be tipping at eighteen, and then we can start to destroy you possibly. <laughs> I'll do what I can. Okay, the I just feel this weird kind of cross table it's collusion. Really, <laughs> I know, I know, weird, I, normally, it would really suck to be ganged up on like that, but I was ganged up on by Rich and Kara, who were both within a point of me. So that, you know, that, I get it. It's a, legit, it's a legitimate strategy. I'm playing, I'm playing a gnome, which is a power three, which takes us up to 18. Okay. That's, I can't do anything with him. He says you I can destroy, destroy a minion of, with a power less than the number I have, but I only have one out. So that takes us to 18, just because I have it, play the hideout which says that it's ongoing. If another player's action would affect my minions here, yeah. I can destroy this card instead. It's oh, like okay. my pawn. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. okay, cool. Yeah. So that's it. I'm going to draw two and... Oh, man. <laughs> I can at least, I'm going to poison the nuke box. Okay, uh -huh. which, what does that do? Uh, it would destroy any actions on it, but there aren't any. Uh, and now that minion is minus four of its power, oh, so it's cool. at so it's only two. 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 It's it's a two instead two. of a... Right. Oh, because it was already a four. So the nuke bot has been poisoned. So that puts us back at 14. Yeah. I think that's all I really could do. Jen. Okay, again, Jen. this is a math question, so I have to quickly... We're counting on you, oh. Jen. I'm going to play my Disintegrator. This is my action. It places a minion of power three or less at the bottom of the owner's deck. I just want to get you out of the danger zone here a little bit, so. But it's not power three or less. I don't have a minion. Oh, Is son of a bitch! My no, my nope. No, my, my, oh, my, he's now. My yeah, he's now only worth one. Oh, my yeah. nuke bot is only worth two. Two. Um, can I get a high five on that? <laughs> <laughs> so right. that actually takes two more points off of that deck. Okay. Okay. So two for me, and my turn is done. Oh, no. Arr. Well, no. He's okay. Here. First thing I'm gonna do is play Zap Bot down here. Um, I'm gonna play the Neophyte, which lets me reveal the top card on my deck, and if it's an action, then I get to uh, play it, otherwise it just goes right back to the top of my deck. It's not an action, it's a minion, so that's gonna stay there. And then uh, I don't actually have an action. Okay, um, and now I will move this up. That's at up. 18, right? Move this up, oh. one, two, three, that's four, That's really uncomfortably, five. yeah, 18. Oh, and you have how many points out right now? Three, four, I five, six, seven, seven, eight, nine, ten? Yeah. And I have three, yeah, I have four, four, five, four. six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I win! <laughs> Whoa. What just happened? What just happened? His face. Dinosaur. <laughs> Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on a second. We might have a tie situation. We might, you're right, because you've got oh, two tie. and I got four. Shinobi, Shinobi! Three, four. Shinobi, you can Shinobi. Shinobi. You can Shinobi. Shinobi. <laughs> and the hidden ninja brings in this to me as well. 11, 12, 13, 14. What are you? <laughs> Kara Santa Maria, congratulations. You, Thank you. are the smash up victor. Hey, you're in my spot. Oh, sorry about that. Yeah, that's all right. Here, I'll just. Yeah. yeah. Well, you sit there a lot, I guess. I really, really do. So, uh, I'm not going to make this about how I was one point away from victory for two rounds. No. It's not going to be about how I have had a speech written since season one of Tabletop that I have <laughs> never gotten to deliver that I thought I was going to get to deliver tonight. I want to make this about uh, how grateful I am that you guys came and played on the show with me. <laughs> and uh, uh, did you have fun? Absolutely. Oh, that was awesome. Yeah, it was yeah. great, right? Yeah, yeah, it's a really terrific game. It's a great game. Um, so much fun. And uh, I'm going to go downstairs and talk to Kara. The yeah. winner? The winner. The winner. I imagine it's a great place to be. <laughs> <laughs> Just leave the sign there. Last year on Tabletop, everyone who played got to hold a trophy, but we had to take it back because it's expensive and beautiful and we kind of blew our budget on it. Okay. So this year, I want all of our players to get to take something home with them that's special. So you get this Tabletop Certificate of Awesome. <laughs> 
What does that say? Writing, it says New Jersey Regional Champion Baby Juggler. Okay. Mm -hmm. Don't worry about it. I'll fix it. <laughs> All right. So if you just give me your shoulders for a minute, I will just cross this out here <laughs> and that as well. And I'm a tabletop. All right. Awarded to Kara. Signed by Will the Loser Wheatson. Oh. Here you go. Oh, one last thing to make it all official. A seal. Yay. Oh, awesome. Congratulations. <laughs> Please make a speech. Um, this one goes out for all the geek girls out there because we really are good at math. That's awesome. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Until next time, play more games, and we'll see you right back here on Tabletop. <laughs>